Continuing coverage from Madison's west side where a search warrant was carried out this morning. The large police presence caused some concern in the neighborhood. Our Jalen Banks joins us live after spending the morning with people who live there and getting the latest from police with new information in just the last couple of hours. So Jalen, what have you heard? The last couple of hours MPD shared with us that this morning they served a search warrant at a home here on Sugar Maple Lane. The warrant was part of a Dane County Narcotics Task Force investigation. And the people that I spoke to this morning said that the presence by the police was a surprise. A quiet and peaceful neighborhood on Madison's west side turned hectic early Monday morning. I uh, got up and uh, I heard then um, some like loud voices outside and um, I looked out the window and I could hear uh, obviously a crowd of police out here outside the house just up there and uh, I heard, you know, the police woman sort of, uh, sort of saying, please come out with your hands up. Around 7 a.m., MPD, the Dane County Sheriff's Office and SWAT were all here on North Sugar Maple Lane. I spoke with one resident who declined to put their face on camera but was able to describe the scene. A couple of people were out there panicking um, and you could see there was a SWAT team and there were lots of cars. A scene that left people here with mixed emotions. It made me mad because I'm thinking, gosh, what aren't we doing right to prevent this from happening? I don't know who to be mad at. Mm -hmm. I think we as a neighborhood have to look at the neighborhood association and talk to the police to try to prevent it from happening again. They also say that they are relieved the warrant was carried out but still concerned about the safety of the neighborhood moving forward. I want to make sure that we're all safe. MPD officials say that due to this being an active investigation that no further details can be released at this time. And as we're able to gather more information, we'll keep you updated here on air and on our website at channel3000.com. Reporting in Madison, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now.